All right, everyone, welcome back. We're gonna get started with our next session. Please feel free to continue to enjoy your lunch, go back for seconds, grab some extra coffee, whatever you need to do. So I hope you've been enjoying the sessions, exhibitors and networking opportunities. Before we dive into our award presentation, I want to let everyone know that if made by available by the presenter, slides can be accessed in the session descriptions in the virtual attendee hub. Um, as a reminder, you can follow along with the conference happenings on social media using hashtag AHI2022. Engage uh, with us using this hashtag for your chance to win a conference giveaway. Following our featured talk this afternoon to ask a question virtually into your question into the Zoom chat, in-person attendees, again, will have the opportunity to ask questions using the microphones uh, that will pass around the room. Um, and another thank you to the Division of Adolescent Medicine at the University of Michigan, and also the New York City STD Prevention Training Center at Columbia University for their sponsorship of this session at the event. So now it is my pleasure to introduce two of our TACTAC -TAC members, Aria Kamat and Brooklyn Clark, who will be presenting the Experience Through Art Award. Aria Kamat, who you met earlier this morning, um, is particularly interested in the science and advocacy sides of healthcare. She is the head of communications for the PPAM Youth Advocacy Team, where she advocates for reproductive justice. She's a peer educator for Planned Parenthood and educates her peers and community about sexual health. She's also the president of her school's Health Occupation Students of America Club and a member of ETR's Youth Engagement Network. TAC, TAC has provided Aria with the opportunity to shape the health care of other adolescents like her, receive, like her receive and amplify youth voice in these settings and beyond. Brooklyn Clark is finishing their Associates of Applied Sciences at Wayne County Community College through the Belleville High School Early Middle College Program. She is passionate about helping advocate for those who cannot advocate for themselves and making sure that LGBTQ plus individuals get the care that they need. Joining TAC, TAC has given them an opportunity to expand their knowledge on presenting, gain connections, and help advocate for adolescents everywhere to get the confidence to speak up about what they need from their doctors. In her spare time, she reads plenty of fiction novels and spends time with her family. Come on up, Aria in Brooklyn. Hello everyone. The Experience Through Art Award works to showcase young people's experiences with healthcare through art. AHI collected submissions from adolescents aged 12 to 24 with the goal of depicting what they would like healthcare professionals to know about working with youth or what adolescent health means to them. The award was reviewed by AHI's Teen Advisory Council, TACTAC. -TAC. The first recipient of the award that we're going to present today is going to be Jory Cho for her submission of titled Soul. Jory will be a senior at Skyline High School this fall. She has loved art since she was little. She enjoys studying psychology and sociology, and she's interested in finding ways to incorporate that focus into design. Jory is an avid swimmer and plays water polo year round. In her free time, she, Jory likes music, fashion, and connecting with both friends and new people. Here's how she described her piece to us. These past several years, I have struggled with an eating disorder and body image issues. Through my art, I have been able to reflect the way that I felt after choosing recovery, pouring all my emotions out onto the paper. I would like healthcare professionals to know that nothing about a person's physical appearance reflects who they truly are. It took me a long time to realize this, that the way I look has nothing to do with the color I have on the inside. To me, adolescent health is not weight or eating habits or size, but the ability someone has to reflect the person they are in the inside out. Your heart is who you are. And we would like to invite Jory up to the stage at this moment so that you can receive her award. <laughs> Thank you. 
second recipient of the award is Michelle Knapp for her submission titled On File. Michelle is entering her senior year at the University of Michigan, where she is studying art and design. Her work across mediums explores the strange and beautiful phenomena of growing up. This piece explores her relationship with the doctor's office, informed by the experiences of living with multiple chronic illnesses from a young age. The collage is made of old medical records, asking you to look beyond them to see the real person they represent. Here's how she described her piece. In my work, I represent experiences that are difficult to describe with words. Often this means a whimsical spin on darker moments in my personal life. In this piece titled On File, I used actual medical records that I have amassed over years of living with a chronic illness to collage a self-portrait. The countless hours I've spent in medical offices being seen through the lens of the world often did recognize the way in which living with an invisible chronic illness shaped me. I believe now more than ever, we need to take the time to see one another for the multifaceted people we all are. Michelle, if you'd like to join us for the stage to receive your award, and we'll also take a picture with you. Congrats. We would, like to thank, we would like to thank all of the participants in this award competition. And if anyone here is interested in showcasing this type of art from both the individuals who won the award and anybody else, you can find these artists are open for commissions and you can contact them with the, as well as the honorable mentions at the information provided in the conference program. Thank you all.